In this video, I'm going to show you a secret to selling any look, any extreme look that you create. What is that last step that sells it where it's believable? That's what we're going to learn right here. You see the stopwatch up top because you know what's coming. We're going to get this done in two minutes because this is Quick Tip Tuesday. Let's get this party started. This footage is shot with Ari Alexa. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my color space transform. Let's convert it properly. Um, let's type in Rex Auto 9 here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select Cineon. Why? Because I want to add a film print emulation. This one in particular. If you want to learn more about that, link is going to be in the description to a training that you guys can watch and learn all about the note tree and why I'm doing what I'm doing here. All right, let's move on. So let's exaggerate this look a little bit. I'm going to go under my printer lights. I'm going to add a few cyans, right? Like, let's just push it. I'm going to go far. And now I'm going to add a few magentas, uh, maybe somewhere around here. So you might say, this looks pretty good, dude. Like, I mean, what's there to do? Okay. You see like how everything started to look a little muddy in this area in the shadows and everything looked so good here, contrast wise. That is because Look at what is happening over here. So one of the secrets to selling any look is nailing your black points. You can do whatever you want in this area as long as your blacks are proper. Right now our blacks are not proper. Look at that. This is before, this is after. So what I have to do is I'm going to go under my log right here. And all I'm going to do is this. I'm just looking at my sculpts right now. I'm going to pull my blues down. I'm going to pull my greens down. and. I'm going to take my reds and I'm going to move it around a little bit. I'm looking at her hair. And if I get to somewhere around here and if I do before and after, I mean, we can even mess with it a little bit more. I'll bring it down. Even something like that. And now if I do before and after, just look at the difference. Just by doing our log wheels, our skin is looking much better. Contrast is looking perfect. The hair is looking black how it should be. Everything belongs like the whole image pops without doing any contrast or anything like that. Boom, right under two minutes. So apply this tip next time when you're trying to create an exaggerative look or any sort of look. Just look for your anchors and especially your black points. Anchors could be your skin tones. Anchors could be your whites. But in this case, the look that we were creating, the only thing that was hindering the entire look was the black points. So once I dialed those in, everything fell into place. And guys, if you're enjoying the content, then I highly suggest you checking out my free training. I mean, what you just learned there is just the tip of the iceberg, okay? Everything, just look at it. All the things that are covered here, shot matching, something that doesn't get covered on this channel, skin tones, conform, bunch of other stuff, 8-bit footage uh, and FAQs. Most of the stuff came from you guys, so I'm going to be covering that there. You also get tons of freebies, uh, practice footage, something you guys ask for all the time, power grades and LUTs created by me. So if you want to support me, check out the training. Link is going to be in the description. If you're enjoying the content, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more awesomeness. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.